Chad again in batting practice. 2-2. Low to Cooper. Ball three. Ryan would just as soon take a walk as a base hit. And here's first things first. Need base runners. Three and two to Cooper. Bravago taking it all in in the on-deck circle. And Ryan draws a walk. The 3-2 pitch at his feet. A great at-bat for Cooper. Falling behind 0-2 in the at-bat. Able to draw a walk. So on a routine fly to right, misplayed by right fielder A.J. Robinson. McClan had a board on an error. Cooper down 0-2 in the count. Walks. And the Anteaters are breathing. McClanahan at second. Cooper at first, nobody out. Here's Chris Robago, 0 for 3 with a run scored. He was hit by a pitch in the first inning and scored. And Wagner works away, ball one. Robago twice hit the ball very crisply, lining out to center field and deep center field. Rounded out to first his last time up. So he could have a couple hits. So far, nothing to show for it but a run scored. 1-0. The 1-0. Low. It gets through the legs of Austin Green. The runners move up. We'll see on that. Runners go to second and third. 2-0. That'll be a wild pitch. Here comes Rich Hill to talk with home plate umpire Frank Flugrad about something. And Rich is going to go out to the mound, so he's going to make, I think, a couple of changes here, maybe. Trevor Bayless is throwing in the bullpen. The entire infield will meet with Rich Hill on the mound. 2-0 to Rabago, 2 on, nobody out. Anteaters need five. They have two out there with three precious outs remaining. Hill talking to Wagner. Remember now, Wagner has started 11 games. Michael Wagner on the year has worked 76 innings. So he is accustomed to being under some pressure out there. So Rich Hill continues to talk to him. Finally, the meeting breaks up. Trevor Bayless, second on the team in saves with three, throwing behind him. And Bayless has made the most appearances of any USD pitcher, 26. He's still in the pen, Tim. I imagine Rich Hill just told Michael Wagner, go after these hitters. Stop trying to paint the corners. The umpire's not giving you those calls right now. Go after them. The 2-0 pitch to Rabago. And that fastball on the corner, 2-1. He did exactly that. Two and one to Chris. He's got to use his velocity to his advantage. There's no question. Rabago looking for one he can drive. The infield back, of course. Two one, pop foul. Two and two to Rabago. Chris, a home run, 21 RBIs. Taylor and Spencer with Sparks waiting in the wings. And possibly Schaefer. You've got the right portion of your batting order. Your best five hitters, the one through five hitters, and they are the best five. Two, two, swung on and missed strike three. He took something off of that. Took something off of it, but it was set up by two consecutive fastballs that had a lot of velocity behind him. And it looks like the talking to that he got from Rich Hill helped him out a ton right there. And we'll see what he does against Dominic Taylor, but I would think the same kind of game plan here. First out of the ninth. And remember, there should be two out were it not for a drop fly ball. Ball one to Dominic Taylor. Dominic Taylor one for four. Single back in the fifth. Also made a great catch out in center field. The 1-0 to Taylor. Swung on, bounced towards second. That'll get a run home. Fielded by Bailey across the first in time. McClanahan scores. It is 7-3 UCI. That run is unearned, by the way. And Cooper takes third. RBI for Dominique Taylor. And eaters, though, down to their final out. For Dominique, his 31st run batted in. 
Connor Spencer's two for four. A couple of singles, both of them to left field. Hitting 388. Looking to continue the game and get Sparks another swing. And Wagner works strike one to Connor Spencer. Spencer began play leading the Big West Conference in batting average. At 385, he's raced at three points. 0-1 is sprayed foul, third base side, a twisting foul ball. Nothing in two. And Eaters one strike away from losing for their seventh time in 30 home games. Their problems have been on the road, by and large, where they're 8-10. The 0-2 to Spencer. High moves him off the plate, 1-2. Seven runs, 12 hits, three errors for USD. Three runs, six hits, no errors for UCI. The 1-2 pitch is just low, 2-2. Two and two. Spencer glances in at his head coach, Mike Gillespie, back in from the left side. Outfield very deep. The 2-2 pitch. Connor swings and misses, and this one is in the books. So Connor Spencer strikes out, ends up going two for five. The Anteaters get an under and run in the ninth. One run, one hit, one error, and one man left. And San Diego comes back to even the season series at a game apiece with a 7-3 victory here tonight at Cicerone Field. Final totals for the trail, seven runs, 12 hits and no errors. Three errors, I should say. 7-12-3 for USD. Three runs, six hits, no errors for UC Irvine. The win to Louis Leckage. He is now two and three. And the loss goes to starter Kyle Hooper. He is one and three. We'll take a two minute break. Back to wrap it up after this on KUCI. That was fucking trippy.